Hey guys, today you're going to learn how to make a really um, accurate selection of someone or something using the Refine Edge tool. Um, it's a pretty cool tool, so go ahead and open up both of the files, Girl with Wispy Hair and Graffiti Street Art Street Wallpapers from your Refine Edge tool folder. We're going to select the girl and put her on this background. So first, let's go ahead and just use our Move tool to select her or to drag that layer over to this layer. We'll go ahead and get it resized. Now, remember, always click the link. The width and the height should be exactly the same. And we're just going to place her somewhere in the middle here. That looks good. So, um, once you get it like you like it, hit the check mark. And we're going to start working to select her out of the white background. First thing we always want to do is make a copy. So, Control J or right click and create copy, wherever that is. Duplicate layer. There we go. And now we've got a copy. I'm just going to take the eyeball off of layer one just because we don't need it. I just want to keep it there in case uh, we mess up on the layer. Okay, so what we want to do first is use one of our selection tools and we'll go ahead and try the quick selection tool. Six is going to be too small, so 150 is probably too big. I'm just going to use 96 and try to select as much of her as I can. Okay. Now when I zoom in, you can see that I have a good outline of her hair, but obviously these little wispies I don't have at all in the selection. So that's what we're going to do today is learn how to do that without going in and painting each individual one with the quick selection tool. So let me zoom back out. All right, once I have a selection tool selected, our menu changes. You know this. So at the top, there's a button called Refine Edge. If there's not, and if you're ever in a situation that you can't find that, you can just go to Select and Refine Edge. Either way, it's going to bring up this. So right now, we can see our selection. And you can see that it's got what I have selected, but all the little wispies out here are gone. So the first thing I want to do is increase our radius out a little bit. I'm just going to increase it for now to about 9, somewhere around there. Okay, and then you're going to use this great tool that allows you to kind of paint in more of a selection. And as you paint, what it does is it kind of um, determines where the values change. So it's going to determine where the value of the hair is different than the background. You know what? It's kind of hard to see on this white background what you have selected and what you don't uh, because your background is, is white. So on view mode, let's go ahead and change that to maybe overlay. That way we can tell if we've got white in there. And see, I don't want that white in there, so I'm just going to start painting. Okay, I'm going to press pause so that you don't have to watch me do all this. So now I've gone through with this tool and, and kind of painted everywhere, and I think I have all the little hairs selected. And there were some white spots in here, so I, I started with a dark piece of hair and went over the white spots so that they kind of went away because the tool can see that there's a change in value. It went from dark to light. Okay, the next, and it looks pretty good, but the next thing we want to do is on output, you're going to click on decontaminate colors. And then, as you increase this, if you'll watch your picture, you can see what it does. So I'm going to decontaminate colors, I don't know, up to about 60-something. And then we want to output this to a new layer with a mask, with a layer mask. And then I'm going to hit OK. So what that does is it creates this new layer with the layer mask. 
Okay, double click your hand real quick just to make our picture just um, fit the screen again. And now that I've done that, I see that I didn't scroll down and get these pieces. That's not hard to fix. We want to do the refine edge again, but I'm going to show you something. If you click on your selection tool, remember how I told you it would have a refine edge? It's not available. The reason it's not available is because you have to actually start a selection. So we want to have the same selection we had last time. And once you have a mask, it's really easy to create a selection that is the mask. It's basically the shape of the mask. If you hold down control on your keyboard and click on the mask, you'll see that it will, it will make that exact selection. So now we have everything selected just the way it was a while ago. And I'm going to click on Refine Edge. And now, you know, I can increase the radius a bit. I'm going to use this edge detection tool and I'm going to paint this area that I left out last time. So after you do something, it's not hard to correct it if you make a mistake. Um, I want to decontaminate colors again. I'm going to increase it just a bit. Mm, maybe not so much. And then I'm going to hit OK. Now it's going to make me a separate layer mask. I no longer need this one. right? I can start deleting things that I don't need anymore. So I'm going to delete those and keep my, my background layer. Now your assignment is going to be, after you show me that you've done that, I want you to create your own picture. I want to show you an example I found of a photoshopped image. So Kim Jong-un, who you know is the crazy leader of um, North Korea, he tried to convince the people of North Korea that he climbed this mountain. I don't know if it's, I can't remember, Mount Pik Tu. Um, so he had this image photoshopped, but if you look at it, his shoes are completely clean. It's a pretty believable photoshop other than that. His shoes are clean. And when you get down here, okay, these guys uh, right back here are, nobody can figure out what they're piled on top of. Are they standing on a rock? And then when you zoom in, you can kind of see they're not standing on anything. They don't know how this guy's way up here. Um, anyway, so it's a Photoshop fail. But... Let's see what you can create. If you want to take a picture of you or somebody else and put them in a scene that they weren't at, actually. Um, see how believable it could be. Here's another one. Um, Hillary Clinton shaking Osama bin Laden's hand. Obviously not true. That's photoshopped. This guy did not really find a dragon and put it on his finger. So you can find all kinds. Let's see how creative you can be. Goodness me. We probably shouldn't look there. <laughs> 